Hello, my old school soul food family chef Jeff right back with another video. It is Friday, y'all. It is Friday. You know what that means? It's a cake or a pie. And in case you've seen by the preview picture and the title, it's old school Friday night cake of the week, y'all. And we making that, yes, if you saw my little thumbnail this morning I put out, uh, or yesterday morning, you probably won't get this video until Saturday morning. I put a, a picture of my eggs and butter and my sweet potato laying out and I'm making sweet potato pound cake. I've been got a lot of requests for the past few months to do this cake and uh, I waited until the fall. So it is officially fall, y'all. Uh, even though in Texas it's still hot. Still in the 80s and 90s here in Texas, but officially it's fall. So I'm going to start doing a lot of fall cakes and pies leading all the way up to Thanksgiving and uh, Christmas. So y'all have a lot of ideas of what to make and what to create dessert-wise by, there's no excuse. When, no, when Thanksgiving get here, you should have a whole arsenal of cakes and pies and puddings and cutlers and stuff like that for to put on your dessert table for your holidays. It'll make me proud to see the pictures come through. So anyway, let's get started here, y'all. If you know the method already, you know what? I can't do nothing without my paddle, huh? Hold on just a second. Put my whip on here. I wasn't even ready, y'all. I ain't have my whip on here, y'all. Okay. You know the method here. I got my butter here, room temperature, and my butter flavor shortening, which you'll see here in the description. The recipe is in the description of the video. People say, why you don't give out the measurements? Look, I don't do that for a few reasons. Because this frustrates me when I watch a video and people only give out the measurements on the video. That means you got to keep watching the video over and over and over and over again. And I don't like doing that. Even though I want you to watch my videos over and over again, don't get me wrong. But it shouldn't be because you have to, it's because you want to. So I put the recipe in the description of the video. All you got to do is come to the video, look at the description, click that arrow. In my recipe, I write out everything in the description. It takes me a while to do this, y'all, but I do it because uh, I want uh, y'all to have that ability to just pull it up when I happen to watch the whole video. So anyway, I'm gonna cream this butter and sugar together for about, I got brown sugar in here, granulated sugar, I got butter and butter flavor shortening all in this bowl. I'm gonna cream this thing together here about seven eight minutes depending on how long it takes sometimes 10 minutes and uh what i want to do i want to create air in here i want to get it nice light and fluffy which is going to cause you to have a nice moisture cake also my eggs and butter the butter i just put in there with room temperature my eggs room temperature and that's very important as i say in every cake video that you have your eggs and butter room temperature to to uh to come out with a nice moist, you'll see at the end how moist and light and moist this cake will be. So anyway, I'll be right back in about 10 minutes and we'll start adding the eggs to this. Normal, it's going to be the normal procedure. Only thing different, I'm going to add some uh, sweet potato puree and I'm going to tell you about that in a second when I come back. So we'll be right back. Alright y'all, we are back here. Okay, now we're going to add the room temperature egg one at a time here. Y'all see I got my uniform on when I just come from work. Some people don't like me to cook in my uniform. They say it's not sanitary. Even though that's what I use to cook with at work. So why not use the same uniform to cook with at home? But some people don't get that. They think it's unsanitary. But I don't know. Some people like watching me cooking with my uniform on at home and I don't cook with shoes on either and I have shoes on right now but I just got home from work but normally when y'all see me cooking in the video I don't have any shoes on I don't cook with shoes on it might be bad sanitary practices too but anyway I'm gonna get the eggs and put in here look one one at a time The 
break this down. Look how pretty that batter already is, y'all. And all that is is eggs and sugar and butter. You know that's meaning something good. Look how pretty that batter is already. Nice and smooth. That's what you want. Now, next thing I'm gonna add, I'm gonna add my aromatics, which is the, I'm gonna add my cinnamon nutmeg. I'm gonna add my baking powder to my, I'm trying to, I'm gonna dumb this down, y'all, because sometimes I take for granted certain things when I'm cooking that people know already. So I'm gonna put my baking powder in with my, with my flour. that in with my flour and mix it up in there. You can sift it if you can, y'all, but I don't sift it. I just kind of mix it in there like that. So I'm going to set this aside. And I'm going to put my cinnamon nutmeg in here, right in here with the, with the, with the, uh, cinnamon nutmeg right in here with the flour, y'all. Mix it all together in there. So that'll take care of all the dry ingredients I already mixed together. See that? There we go. That's all mixed together. Set that back right to the side. Now, next thing I'm going to do, I'm going to have my vanilla and my sweet potato. Now, the sweet potatoes, like I was going to explain to y'all. My sweet potatoes, what I did, I did this last night. So I'm sorry if y'all see the cake in the morning. Maybe you see it early enough. You can bake your sweet potatoes off. I bake them off, put them in a food processor, and make them really, really smooth. Pretty much like baby food. <clears throat> Let me get a knife here so y'all can <clears throat> see what I'm talking about. You see how smooth that is? That smooth potato I put in the food processor or blender or whatever. If you have a blender, it'll work too. And make sure you, I stress this so much in holiday season, y'all gonna get tired of me saying it. Bake your potatoes. The reason is it preserves the natural sweetness and the color of your potatoes. When you make a sweet potato pie, glazed candy yam, or sweet potato pound cake like I'm making right now, it's very important. Okay, back to the what we was doing here. Put my vanilla in here. And I'm gonna put my sweet potatoes in here. All these goodness in there, y'all. Look at that. Good sweet potatoes in there. Put in that up in there. Potatoes on my blender. Okay, now, last thing we're gonna do, y'all already know, I'm gonna alternate my sweet potatoes all on my hand here. I'm gonna put my flour and sugar in, flour and sugar. I'm gonna put my flour and milk in here, start with dry and with dry. Reason I do that so I can control the glutenous of the flour and how how uh how uh much flour I put in here, I can control that when I do start with flour and end with flour. Half and half there. All goodness here, y'all. All in here. There we go. It smells amazing, y'all. You can smell the cinnamon and the nutmeg. That's it, y'all. 
Now I'm gonna mix the rest of this. Y'all know I'm gonna mix the rest of this by hand. Just by hand like this, y'all. That way I can control how, how much glue, how much uh, this stuff is mixed. Cause you don't wanna over mix your, your batter, y'all. Very important, you do not wanna over mix it. If you do that, you're gonna have a tough cake. Have a tough cake. And then she get all the way down in the bottom there. There we go. Now we got a nice smooth batter. Now I'm gonna put it in the pan. So another thing I gotta show y'all. I use Baker's Joy when I spray my pans. But people ask, do I spray my pans? Yes, I do. I spray it with Baker's Joy. It's the best invention in the world, y'all. No more flour, and you have to do you have to do that butter and flour thing. I used to hate that when I used to make when I started making cakes. Okay, all I'm gonna do, y'all, put it pour it right in the right in the pan here. Right in the pan. Making a mess there. Making a mess there, y'all. <clears throat> That's it. Fill it up right there. I'm going to do something else that some people hate. I'm going to knock their bubbles out of it. Some people say, oh, why are you doing that? I'm going to make you cake fall. No, you're not. I've been doing it for years. Cake is not going to fall. Okay, I'm going to put it in the oven. 350 degrees, y'all, for about 60 minutes. I'm going to clean up here a little, and I'm going to be right back, and we're going to make a nice little frosting for this. And I'm going to do that before I go upstairs and take a shower and change like I usually do. So we'll be right back. I'm gonna put this in the oven, we'll be right back. All right, y'all, we back here. Okay, y'all. We're gonna make a little glaze for this cake here. And what I'm trying to achieve here, you know how you have sweet potatoes on Thanksgiving, you have the marshmallows on top and the pecans. That's what I wanna achieve with this kind of glaze that I got right here. So I use this marshmallow cream. You know, this stuff you get right here, this stuff is sweet. And it's puff and sticky. So I use this cream cheese, a little confection sugar. You don't need much sugar because this stuff already is sweet. And uh, I just mix it all together. So let me get all this stuff out of here. Like I said, this stuff is really sticky. It's a sticky substance here, y'all. It's just like having a sweet potato pie or Glazed sweet potato. Let me get a knife and scrape this off. With the marshmallow topping. That's what I'm going to achieve. And like I said, y'all ain't have to need You don't even need a mixer for this. I'm going to mix this by hand. That's how simple it is, y'all. That's how simple it is. I got me some cream cheese here. Room temperature cream cheese gonna put in here all the sugar <clears throat> and we're gonna mix this all together and then we'll add a little half and half to this or milk to this here to kind of thin it out we'll make it thin enough just where it'll go on the it'll go on the glaze there okay let me get a whisk here and do this the right Get the right tool for the job here, y'all. <clears throat> yeah, let me get a little, a little half and half in here to kind of get me going here. There we go. Mix it up here. Mm-hmm. You can use a mixer, but it's not really necessary, y'all. You'll see once I put it on the 
once I put it on the cake. I just want a little more, it's going to be a little marshmallow glaze and I'm going to put some pecans on there. And it's going to be awesome. See how easy that come together? Clean up here a little. Mix it a little bit more. And that's it. That's the consistency you want. We're going to just put it right on the cake after the cake cools. We're going to put this right on the cake and we're going to have a nice marshmallow cream cheese type glaze on top of that. That's what you want. So anyway, y'all, I'm going to go up, take a shower. Cake's cooking. Cake's got about 45 more minutes to go. Come back. We're going to flip the cake out and let it cool completely. We'll come back, put this glaze on there, a little pecans. We're going to have us the best old school sweet potato pound cake you ever tasted. We'll be right back. All right, y'all, we back here. Okay, cake just come out the oven. It is definitely still hot, so I'm not going to flip it out yet. I'm going to let it sit in here and boil it by five or six minutes. Then I'm going to flip it out. I got my plate right here. I'm going to flip it out on my plate here. And uh, I'm going to let it cool completely, y'all. Completely. And once it cool completely, then I'm going to come back and uh, put that glaze that I made on ice and however you want to see it. We're going to put that on top of it. We're going to put some chopped pecans on there. Like I say, it's going to be just like eating a sweet potato casserole with the marshmallows and the pecans. And you got the cinnamon and nutmeg. It smells amazing in here. When you make this cake, I promise you, it smells just like Thanksgiving or Christmas. It just smells so fall. That's why it took so long to share this recipe with y'all. Because I wanted to do it in the fall. This is not a dessert you eat in the, what you can eat in the summer. But it's just mostly a fall type cake. So, yeah. But anyway, y'all, I'll be back in about five or six minutes. We'll flip this out. We'll see how it look. And then we'll come back again. And we'll put the glaze. And then we'll be ready to eat. So, a lot of going and coming. But it's worth it. So, anyway, I'll be right back. All right, y'all. We are back here. Okay, we'll call this the moment of truth, y'all. Okay. Flip this thing out of here. Hope I did a good job here. We wait on that thought. There we go. That's what we're waiting on right there. That's what I want right there. Okay. Now, like I say, y'all, I'm going to let this sit here a little bit and cool off completely. And after we let it cool off, I'm going to come back. We're going to put all that nice glaze on there. We're going to top it with these chopped pecans. And I can feel how, you can just, sometimes when you take the cake out, you can just feel how moist it is. You can just tell that it's going to be moist when you when you do cut it. So, anyway, I'll be back here only about three hours. Three hours here and uh, we'll uh, let this thing, it ain't going to be no three hours. It'll take about an hour and a half to cool this thing off, uh, really. We'll be back and uh, we'll cool it off here and we'll go from there. So we'll be right back. All right, y'all, we are back here. Okay, now to put the glaze on here, y'all. There we go here. This stuff here is one thing about dealing with marshmallow. This is, remember, this is marshmallow, so how to put it is. Let it flow on there the best way you can, y'all. Like when you glaze a cake, there's no science in what you're doing, y'all. Just want to let the nature take its course in gravity. I like to put the little first and then let a Put a lot. Clean this up here. And this way here. And we go. Perfect, 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 perfect. So 
feel like I should have some music in the background here, huh? This thing flows so easily. Here we go. Let's we'll see if I can get it all on here. I actually have to put it all on there. A little bit more on this side. There we go. Now, what I'm gonna do, y'all? Remember them little pecan pieces I got there? I'm gonna put the pecans on there. You gotta put them on there before they, definitely before the cake, before the icing sets. There we go, just like that. There we go, y'all. There we go. Now. What I'm gonna do, y'all, I'm gonna step off here. I'm gonna make a little thumbnail here, clean up a little more here. We're gonna come back and we're gonna slice this cake and we're gonna see how it tastes. So we'll be right back. All right, y'all, we back. And I'm gonna admit something, y'all. This cake is a little bit warm still for the glaze, but I couldn't wait. I waited two hours and I figured that was enough, but this is what you get right here. See that? Nice marshmallow glaze on there. And we're going to see here. Look at that. You can tell that's definitely. We can tell that's a nice. Mmm, mmm, mmm. Boys pound cake. Look at that. Look at that, y'all. Let me try to uh, flip it down. Look. We always like to do the moist test. Look at that. See how moist that is? You can tell that cake is moist. Mmm, 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 mmm. I'm telling you, it tastes like a, kind of like a sweet potato pie. And sweet potato casserole all rolled up in one. Very moist cake. I'm telling y'all. Holiday season, Thanksgiving, of course I can't stop eating man. Look at that y'all. That cake is so moist. When it can't stick to the fork like that, I mean it's moist. But anyway. Mm, mm, mm. This, this, this cake just screams holidays. And is this thing set up like tomorrow? It's gonna be better. Something by sweet potato pound cake, it tastes better the second day. It's just something about it. But anyway, enough of that. Another Friday night cake in the books, y'all. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you have, please follow my other social media accounts, Facebook, YouTube, Instagram, Twitter, Twitch TV, Pinterest, and OldSchoolSoulFood.com. Remember the hashtag 2021. Help somebody. Old School Soul Food. Until next time, have a blessed Old School Soul Food day. And I will see y'all in the next video. Y'all have a blessed weekend. And I'll see y'all in the next video. Love y'all. Bye.